Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. 20,000 subscribers on YouTube after two years of creating videos and 100K, so 100,000 followers on TikTok after not even a year or maybe a year. I don't remember. <laughs> so guys, what's happening right now? Uh, I'm just really thankful. I just hit the 20K and I just hit uh, also almost 20K on Instagram. So all my social media are actually growing and this is thanks to YouTube and this is thanks to TikTok because TikTok is getting traction like crazy. I told you guys, I told you months ago, you need to start creating content on YouTube, on TikTok, sorry. YouTube is more on the long-term form content, so it is actually something to create your personal brand, so I'm really happy for that. So guys, what's happening right now? First of all, I'm changing a lot of things on my social media strategy. I'm trying to repositionate myself as a new person, as a new character. Of course, I grew up a lot. If I watch my first videos, I'm like, what? Oh, who am I? It, it looks like my friend was seeing, was watching one of my first videos and then watching my latest videos. And he was like, damn, this guy, this new guy, the, the older one looks like the father, the dad of the, of the previous videos, like the first videos, this looks crazy. So it's not that much of a look. It's not that change, that shift in the way I look, but it's on the personality. Of course, I got a little bit more confident in front of the camera. I can even talk English a lot better. I don't need the script to make videos, so I can make videos right away like this. And I grew up like crazy. Like YouTube for me, it's necessary. It's something that I love because I can teach you and I can also document my life. So what's happening with myself? I started making videos in the beginning just because I wanted to teach people something and just because I wanted to document. But right now my positioning changed. My positioning changed. I want to start making more professional videos because right now I make money through YouTube and I make money through TikTok and other social media. So I invested in this new camera. I have down the link in the description of the, of the video that I made trying this new camera, the Sony A6400. So I invested in my business, upgrading my, the way of the quality of the videos that I post. And I'm trying to also get a little bit better enough in front of the camera, which means besides this video, just because it's a quick vlog, but normally I'm trying to wear a shirt, I'm trying to be more professional, I'm trying to be more uh, man, more like a man instead of a boy. Even if I'm 23 years old, I have the, like my whole life in front of me. And what is happening is that I was thinking a lot about my content and I was thinking about, oh my God, I've always had these uh, this problem in my head. Should I make content about the niche? Which niche? Fragrances, beauty care, fitness, whatever. People always tell you, you need to pick a niche first and then just go for that. The second thing is the language. Should I pick, should I make English content, Italian content? What content should I make? So I've always, you know, struggled with these kinds of things. Since I decided after this year, I grew up a lot, I was reading a lot and I learned a lot, a lot, a lot. I decided I don't need a niche because I don't want to create a business. If you, for example, want to create a business around fragrances like Jeremy Fragrance, which is a business or about iPhones, talking just about iPhones, you can make it and you can just talk about that. Or even if you have a passion, but I don't have a, a passion. I am a Renaissance man. I create content about all the things that actually employ my life, that are actually in my life, that I love making, that I love talking about because it's me. So my niche is myself. And even if in the short term, it's really hard to grow, talking about just the things that you like and not talking about a specific niche, I think and I suppose that in the end, in the long term run, in the marathon, this will create the most long term success because it will build a legacy 
around my name, around myself, around my character, my persona, doesn't matter what I do and doesn't matter what I talk about. So I'm linked to anything, just myself. And this is what I want to create. So what I'm doing, basically, I'm gonna create a new intro for my YouTube channel. I already created new playlists. I already starting to remove all the shirtless uh, things on my social media, not because they are bad, but because they attire, they gather different kinds of people, of audience that I don't want. I want audience interested in me, interested in my character, interested in reaching success. And people that are just interested in my physique, mm, mm, I'm not interested in that anymore. You can have like 60 million subscribers, but if they're just all interested in the way you show yourself and your body, it's not the best. So I prefer this way. So there's no shortcuts. The other thing is I'm also changing my whole social media strategy, trying to create more quality content uh, everywhere and also trying to change the graphics. Guys, the harmony between social media, a lot of changes, you don't even see them probably, but in the end, it will actually change myself a lot more. I'm trying to position it myself. So I'm kind of a Renaissance man, which means a man, a person that has an ambition, has a goal, has the goal of success, like the goal that I have, and try and doesn't have a passion, is not like super talented in something, but he succeeds or he's very good in anything that he puts discipline and energy and focus on. So this is basically myself. After my 18 uh, years old birthday, after all the things that happened in my life, very bad things, I'm gonna talk about it in the intro. Uh, I decided to change my life completely starting this new journey and I decided to, I don't have a passion, I don't have a talent, so I'm just gonna get improving myself so much and every single day with so much discipline, so to be ready, for any opportunity that I will get. So once I understand my passion, once well, I understand the business, once I understand what I want to do in my life, I'll be so ready mentally and physically and spiritually and financially that I'll succeed for sure, 100%. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to go over this career while documenting everything on camera, documenting everything through social media so that all the things that I'm learning, I'm teaching you, I document my journey, I network with everyone that is like wanting, that is like like-minded, that wants to reach success and I'm having fun and I love it. I'm creating a legacy and I connect with people. So it also helps me a lot. So while I do my this self-improvement journey, acting, singing, meditation, dancing, I start in martial arts, I'm doing so many things. I'm also documenting everything on social media. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm, I will also start doing more live streaming, so Q and A's, because I honestly think that the content that people will enjoy about me is the content that actually people choose to see from me. So the questions that you'll make, I'm gonna just answer. And so I'm just gonna get ready for success and make you through social media and documenting, get ready for opportunities as well. So you will become a Renaissance man as well, ready for any single opportunity. So this is it. <laughs> I'm also making the new intro as I told you and, and maybe a challenge. So I'm gonna maybe start a challenge, a couple of challenges, maybe one little one and another bigger one trying to launch my new position. So I'm working a lot on myself, guys, and that's it. Thanks for the 20K, thanks for the 100K, and that's it. Let's go with the new Marco 2.0, and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.